Well, I think I found my problem. Uh, the spring is when I got the uh, the radius rods adjusted. Um, the spring's at a real bad angle. I think that's part of my problem. Um, it's really wedged towards the top is towards the front of the car. So I've taken the clamp off and I'm about ready to release it, pull the frame up and take a look at it. And it's probably gonna move back about an inch. If that's the case, I'm gonna have to figure out um, what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna shorten it up too much, but I might uh, make a bracket in the back here that's gonna allow me to uh, elongate where the center bolt is and elongate those slots for the U-bolts that hold the spring on. Um, that's just the first impression. Yep, just what I thought. So now to free it up, as you can see, that spring jumped about an inch or so back. So it doesn't line up for the U-bolts. And I need the distance of my radius rods the way they are. So what I'm going to have to do is build me a plate that goes between, yeah, the spring and the, and the mount that's offset. So I'll tap some holes in a plate and bolt it in from the top and then thread some studs in it that go down and pick up the bottom clamp on the, um, on the spring. So I think that'll do the job. It don't hurt to raise the ass end up another half inch. So if I use a half inch plate that's plenty of thread for tapping it and plenty of the thread to put the studs in where I want them and then the hole for the center of the spring to go in, that bolt that holds it all together and centers it up. So I think I can, uh, can figure that one out pretty good. It's gonna take a little bit, a little bit of drawing and stuff like that, but uh, I can find me a plate. I can drill and tap it myself, I think. I wish I had a machine shop handy, but uh, it'll all work. Um, so that's going to be my next project. So I probably won't be doing too much more on this right now. Probably assemble the front end a little bit more, but uh, I'm probably going to just sign off on this one for a while.